Polygonal modeling can sometimes be a difficult, time-consuming task, but the payoff is so rewarding and a lot of fun. If you want to create your own objects and beautiful scenes, well, this is the very first step in a rewarding journey. Hi, my name is Brandon Clements, and I want to teach you the basic fundamentals of polygonal modeling in Blender. This video is part one of a series where I will demonstrate and teach you how to build up your skills from an absolute beginner to a confident 3D modeler. Be sure to support this series by leaving a like and also comment below and let me know if you'd like to see more of these types of videos. Let's get started by learning our five essential polygonal modeling techniques. The most basic and fundamental principle is knowing what is a polygonal object and what is it made of. There are three essential components which consist of vertices, edges, and faces. And you can access and manipulate all these components by hitting tab on your keyboard to switch to edit mode. Once you are in edit mode, you can switch between these components by pressing one, two, and three. Hitting tab again will bring you back into object mode. The most common ways we are going to manipulate each component is by moving, scaling, and rotating. These can be accessed by tapping G, S, and R, respectively on the keyboard. The basic idea of polygonal modeling is to build a smaller, low-resolution cage or silhouette and allow the computer to add subdivisions to smooth out the form. So now that we understand the underlying concept, let's start adding resolution to our model. This means we have to add more edges, vertices, and faces to begin shaping our digital clay into our desired object. The most common functions are extruding by grabbing a face and pressing E. We can also add edge loops by pressing Ctrl R. You will immediately see a gold line that will flow across all your four-sided faces. If you don't have four-sided polygons, you'll see a break in this gold line. Once you left click, you will begin to decide where you want this line to be placed. Left click again to accept your decision or right click to place it perfectly in the center. We can also create insets by pressing I and left clicking to accept. One of the most important concepts of any modeling project is making your mesh flow properly. This is super important for characters that need to deform properly and retain their volume. You can manually reroute geometry with a knife tool. Press K and left click to begin your first cut and then left click again and again until you are happy with your work. You can also press E on the keyboard and begin cutting in another area. Press the space bar to accept all your changes. Sometimes you will need to delete vertices, edges, or faces. You can do so by pressing X on the keyboard. And there are two functions to take note here. One is deleting and the other one is dissolving. Deleting will completely remove and blast away the geometry, while dissolving will try to remove and reconnect the overall shape. This can be helpful to remove mistakes or try a different solution. Beveling helps create nice rounded edges to hard surface objects. Select an edge loop by hitting Alt left click. Then press Ctrl B to invoke the tool and drag your mouse until you can see the result of the bevel. You can also roll your mouse wheel at this time to add extra edges in between. This is helpful if you need to add some more resolution to a specific area of your model. Subdividing a mesh provides a smooth overall look and feel to an organic or hard surface object. To subdivide a mesh, add it in the list of modifiers to your object or press Control one on the keyboard. Knowing where to place a holding edge is so important. A poor choice in edge placement could result in a hard line or a pole, but a properly placed edge could result in a nice clean bevel for lighting to pick up. The best tool to manipulate these edges is the slide tool. You can select this in the toolbar or by pressing Shift space and selecting it there. Once you have the tool and an edge selected, a yellow handle will appear so you can push it around your object. Thank you guys so much for following along. Please share with someone who wants to get started in Blender. Part two of this video is gonna go more in depth, so please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when it drops. Until next time, take care and keep creating.